Hey fam, welcome back to another video. We started this vlog, I started this vlog a few days ago. This is supposed to be our, my first official like full timeline vlog for the year and I hope you guys are doing well. Please subscribe to this channel. My name is Jamila Dora. Give this video a thumbs up if um, you en end up enjoying it. I pray you do. I have intentionally documented few aspects of my life in this video as a mom, as a business owner, as a content creator, and everything in between. So um, today is 4th of December, <laughs> 4th of January, and this is going to be the only time you guys are going to get a timeline on my videos. I hardly put timeline on my videos. I'm sorry, I hardly put dates on my videos just to maintain some level of not just privacy but as well as um control the freshness of the content the newness of the content um, but i also try to make make sure my vlogs are relatable back to back like you can easily see it as a sequel to a previous vlog like um by now you guys must have gotten my first day of the new year vlog um yeah the new year vlog so this is just like a sequel and that is how i treat my content in a sequel like and to give it some sort of continuity so today i am going to go do what i hate to do most in my life <laughs> grocery shopping i don't like it that is 
one aspect of marriage and marriage life i do not appreciate i do not appreciate having to go do grocery but i also enjoy i like to do it because i i'm able to put some sort of feminine touch to it and since i am in the i'm the one in the kitchen i know exactly what we need i know exactly how to control the spending and just to make sure that we are right on track what i'll be going to walmart and the kids resume school today again alhamdulillah oh my goodness ah, this holiday was something i i've never had to look forward to them going back to school like i did today um like i did this holiday for the fact that we were all just over it we were just over it so they resumed school today alhamdulillah may allah protect them may allah be with them guide them expand their hearts for knowledge and make their knowledge beneficial to them to my children and your children and your siblings anybody that is going back to school going back to work officially and all that may allah be with each and every one of our loved ones so yeah as i was saying i've been up been very productive very very productive because i was able to fix my kids not fix per se but just clean things because i just forgot about doing anything and the, it's um one thing is that though i have cleaners coming in every month to clean the house i tend to do um a bi-monthly like middle two weeks later i kind of touch up their bathrooms spray it down with bleach disinfect clean their countertops this is for the kids bathroom then for my bathroom as well and the guest bathroom then every week i i, I mean i clean the kitchen every day but the living area every week i sweep and not me particularly but the, i set up the room to sweep and yeah because um it keeps the house clean and freshened and yeah so i am um, here to start this vlog because i didn't start it officially when the vlog started i can't even remember what exactly started this vlog um but once i'm editing i'm sure i'm going to be able to tell and know how to plan accordingly i what do i need to do i've been doing some content job i've just been focusing on my on the things i need to do to get this year going in on a very good note i need to switch my bag i have decided to pick this big bag today and to use for the month of january i this is one of the few big bags that i have like big sized bags that i have and most of my bags are michael kors yeah most of the big bags that i have like this i have a blue one i have a green one i have a silver one and they are all michael course so i think i i do have some big bags in nigeria i thinking about it now i i just i don't know when you have all these things but you don't use them and i did give out a lot i actually used this in nigeria this was a photo passport i snapped last was it last year yeah last year in nigeria uh, I always dress up for my passport so you will never catch me taking photo passports looking like what is being pitted. So I use this bag for my summer trip in Nigeria and I want to use it again. I have things inside. I'm still just going to leave whatever it is that I have inside. Um, and there are things I feel like I need like this, my face this thing yeah this is this shouldn't be here i'm going to put this in my travel pouch i always have this face brush that helps me wash my face or for face cleansing when we're traveling oh no and i have this <laughs> book here i have list oh this is see we're looking for this covid card where the wizard was traveling actually it's in here so i have this book where i have written down everything that we'll be needing <laughs> you know things that i've run out of this bag was my saving grace in, this book was my saving grace in nigeria all the expenses nigeria was very expensive Sha, when we were there let me not lie it was really really expensive like the money one was spending ah, see the money i was spending subhanallah i i don't know alhamdulillah for provisions so i was saying that the bag i'm switching up from is this um bag it's 
of actually Mishka. It is not as sturdy as I would want for it to be, but um, I just love how sleek and lightweight it is. It reminds me of a YSL bag. The chevron design and everything almost yeah is why i saw that has a chevron design like this um so one thing is that almost all the three michael kors bags that i have all have a matching wallet so i currently have the coach um wallet and this is my old driver's license that needs to come out oh my goodness so this is where my insurance card have been and the misters <laughs> all these things we've been looking for it too yeah it was the bag i used to nigeria so i guess i didn't transfer everything I, as i thought i did um so i'm going to go downstairs and transfer the the cards into this and this would be my bag for let me just feel like some madam for the next few weeks four weeks it is big There's a lot of trashing that Michael Kors have been facing and honestly, I myself, um, I these are very old, these are very old Michael Kors bags, nothing recent. This, I think this should be about five years, this should be about five years. So I don't know what happened to them in recent time and this one even have even started experiencing wear and tear. So by all means once i use it now probably won't use it again because if there's anything i don't do is walk around with things that are either torn or broken or something if it's done for it's done for for me so um there's been a lot of backlash for michael course and i learned that coach has taken over the parent company of coach has taken over michael course and i feel like they should because they've just been producing trash bags <laughs> lately with trash quality but these very old ones as far back as five ten years ago you can still swear by their quality quality but anything from four years ago you, sorry you're just wasting money and yeah so i need to get going i'm going to walmart you guys are going to see me when i get back because this is not a fun activity grocery shopping is not a fun activity i'm also going to go pick the kids up from school as soon as i am done um i'm wearing this h and m oversized <laughs> don't come for oversized see <laughs> even the sleeves this is a medium imagine what their large would look like on me eh? i am small but i'm not this terribly small that <laughs> h&m is the dream shop for clothing shop for or clothing brand for every african mom because be rest assured that whatever clothes you get for your kids they get to use it for the rest of <laughs> for the rest of their lives like to god knows when so we are all set let me go and look like him, madam. Do you guys pay attention to the color of your bags? One thing I've come to realize is that the colors of the bag should not really matter. Um, so long as every other thing is looking good, <laughs> let me know. Do you match your bags? I mean, there are occasions when you do so, but for now I'm wearing a gray pants, black this, <laughs> blue this with silver, this thing and this, and I feel like it's, it's balanced. So I'm back home. I picked the kids up. We are back home. They are settling down upstairs. I'm trying to put away the grocery and 
I bought this curry powder. Curry powder is scarce. I couldn't find any at Walmart. I went to Publix and I found this one. The one I would usually use is the Sherry Wood. Is it Sherry Wood? The, in, the, the brand that makes the curry, the masala curry and all those curries for Indian food. This curry powder. And I decided to buy this one. Only for this is the only one that was available. I paid six dollars for it. So I don't mind buying gourmet stuff, gourmet spices, snacks, and all those things. But tell me why I'm paying six dollars for five fifty grams of curry powder. And to make matters worse is that it smells horrible. I bought two and I'm about to return. I'm going to return this one. I can't even say that I want to manage it. I called the mister on my way home and I was like, I feel like I bought curry powder for $6. I, I wasn't paying attention to the price till I, till I got into the car and I'm like, I bought curry powder for $6. What is wrong with me? And I came back home now. I smelt it. It doesn't smell good at all. So this is the shower wood, the shower wood curry powder and I've been staying away, trying to stay away from the Sam's Club brand because that one is just colored now. Since when COVID happened and inflation is all over the place, they've just turned it to color and turmeric and whatever it is that they add. This, it, it, this one smells exactly like that one, horrible, but this, that one has more color than this one. So I think I'll just go back to buying this, my shower wood one. And hopefully next time Publix is able to have it in stock and I buy the there is the mild there is the medium and I buy the strong one the, the this thing the strong flavor so that's what I'm going to do but do they even do prime I don't do mild ah, only seven left in stock what is happening Anyways, I'm done with crochet. This is these are the things I got. Basically, juice, and I've read about this on my Instagram. If you love pepper, you will love this. You can get this from Sam's Club and also Amazon. I'm going to link the Amazon one. Um, vegetables, yeah. Loads of bread. <laughs> That's just what I got, and I hate grocery shopping. M the most important things that I need for this month, I, like I said before, is going to be from our African store. I am out of a lot of uh, swallow powder, like most especially pounder yam, and I want yam. I've been craving yam, peeled beans. I've been craving akara, and I don't have enough. So yeah, that is what is going to take me there. Buy mackerel fish buy tilapia and i'll be done for the month normally all these things that ex except um mackerel fish are things that we bring from nigeria but I, I i didn't bring the last time i i did not bring any and for the longest this is like the first time i'm about, i'm running out of all these things i never run out i never ever run out and because i am really trying to cut down on the swallow that we eat i've not been stocking up like anytime i travel i've been to nigeria what twice now and i did not bring any swallow this thing my amala powder finished <laughs> my mother-in-law would be the one to also stock up on some of these things for me sometimes when she's coming from connecticut to come visit us she would ask if we needed anything then she would buy i don't put my money to these things thanks to my mother-in-law and my mom and now that i have to buy these things now <laughs> my mom sent me beans um see i don't buy beans in america except pale beans because almost all of their grains here is inflammatory for me because of the fertilizer whatever it is that they put to grow them so i bring except rice and my rice i buy from the african store ever since sam's club ca stopped carrying the box one and they only have uncle ben's and i don't really like all uncle ben's i used it for a while if you guys noticed but it just wasn't cutting it for me anymore it's too soft and i don't like when rice is too soft so um i started buying from african store and yeah basically most of my grains my solos come from nigeria that is because um they don't make me sick 
if I buy here, they do make me sick. Beans makes me sick. It is very, very inflammatory for me. All their pesticide or whatever it is that they used to grow them, make the. I would rather my beans have weevil. I know that it has not been modified, and you know, let it spoil. Things they are meant to spoil. Do you get? Than all the one that they will load up here with chemical and you buy this for 10 years, no weevil in it, and you know that they have really modified this species of beans. So my mom sent me beans this time around. I I know people don't like taking this thing. There are things like in America, the only thing you cannot bring is fresh fruits. And if you have your ways, you bring it. My, I, my, the Mister brought fried chicken for me. I only have like a drumstick left. My mother-in-law fried some chicken and sent it to me. And I just love it that I have family that think about me when they are coming here. They think about the things that I need and they make sure they bring all of those things for me. I, I still have a burner from 10 years ago. From 10 years ago. My grandmother, God bless her soul, she's the, she, she, oh, no, the crayfish she made for me. She got me crayfish. She got me, there's this flat fish, Ibera people call it safele. And that fish is so flavorful, packed with it, so much flavor. She would debone it, grind it into powder like crayfish and also send some whole. The one she sent for me, she sent to me when, to me when I was getting married. I still, I, I used the last one few, maybe a few months ago. I preserve everything in my freezer and in my fridge and it retains flavor, my egusi, all those things are stored in a cold place except my crayfish. And if I have my crayfish in excess, I also um, store it in this thing. But yeah, um, I'm going to come and cook now. I'm going to just, I, I need to pray Aser. Once I pray my Aser, I'm going to eat because I've not eaten since morning. I'm going, I bought, you guys, can you guess? My first sushi for the year 2024. <laughs> that sounds so somehow, but I'm tired. I hate, yo, I got distilled water for detox this helps with detox i feel like i have been detoxing with green tea with normal tea and my tablet but this is going to close um finish up my detoxing process for me and i'll be done detoxing before i remove every good and useful nutrient in my body but yeah i'm tired so put this away I hate doing the shopping, the arranging. I don't fancy it. I don't like it. And make dinner. And I'll call it a day. Hey fam, so I wanted to share this recipe with you all. There is this belief that you have to always marinate your protein for 100 years before you can build flavor in them and you know cook them to your taste so this is a fail proof recipe for me that i always use one the most important thing for you to have is to have your protein cold once you have your protein cold and when i mean cold not frozen just really really cold that it still has some sort of water or liquid retained in it and you've not lost all the liquid um, out of it from thawing process then you can use this recipe um, this is this particular one is just a thai curry um, chicken that i wanted to make so i added my cold yogurt and my thai curry paste which i got from the store the yogurt is greek yogurt and these are all cold the chicken is all cold as well before i started this process i also um, had sprinkled a little bit of salt and maggi cube 
honor cube whatever bullion cube you have you can use and i went on to add other ingredients that i love and you can always tailor these to your own taste whatever it is that you want but most importantly make sure you have some other cold elements like the yogurt or the curry or even your cold like spices um fresh spices like tomato or pepper or you know just anything that you want to add to your chicken or your protein so i added every other ingredient that i wanted to use these are just my own uh, flavor profile cumin paprika onion powder um, fresh garlic cayenne pepper and yeah so once i did that i i mixed it thoroughly and if you notice there's a little bit of liquid and that is still the liquid from after washing the chicken thoroughly and i added a little bit of vegetable oil and i mixed it thoroughly and i went straight to grilling it on high heat um grilling it no sorry pan tearing it on high heat pan tearing it on high heat high heat um allows for the marination process to actually happen that is going to actively happen once you are married once once you're pan searing it on high heat and that reduces the time that you have to wait for it to thaw and for no not for it to thaw but for you to marinate and this is the process of the high heat and you can see that it wasn't splattering anywhere and once that was done i the excess oil i kind of used it to also marinate my vegetables quickly and this is still just to reduce the amount but i did add the excess liquid from the marinade this is my tomato red pepper green pepper onion um yeah and you know with the marinade of the chick of the chicken i didn't need to add extra spices so this is everything that this is what it looks like at the end of the day and it was really really nice everybody enjoyed it after i finished i went to freshen up came back downstairs to kind of view the rice the house i love to do this all the time so yeah enjoy <laughs> Hey fam, um, Juma Mubarak. Today is Friday and I'm at home. I've been home all day. Yesterday's dinner was amazing. So I think I overworked myself in whatever I did yesterday. Going for grocery shopping, coming back home, putting things away, cooking, that kind of dinner. Um, so I woke up this morning not really feeling it to do anything. But Alhamdulillah, I have just been working on things that I need to do and that is what I've been really working on. I don't really have much I would like to add to this vlog again because um, we're going out. I might go out with them later in the evening when they are leaving for Islamia. They are resuming Islamia today. Um, this is my head tie. <laughs> they are resuming Islamia today and... I need to do some grocery shopping the Af the from, from the African store so I I don't it, it's going to be at night so by then I'm not going to be in the mood to do anything and I think from there we'll go to the masjid depending on how it goes I might change my mind and still drag the mister out tomorrow I just don't want to drive the distance it's a distance I don't want to drive so I might 
drag the mister out tomorrow if I still feel like I don't want to do it. He went to pick the kids up today. He took them to school as usual every Friday. So he also is going to pick them up and normally would be home if I was the one to go pick them. But since he, he said he was going to call me if he wasn't going to be able to make it. But he didn't call so I take it that he's picking them up. So yeah, I think this is a safe place to end this vlog and oh my goodness this hair tie it, it looks good it's just this place that is not like sitting to my head that's because i didn't tie it most of my scarves are no not scarf so uh, i hope you guys had an amazing first week of the new year and um your pumped for it and for the rest of the year and the rest of whatever it is that you know the year holds and yeah see you guys in my next video please subscribe to my channel and bye and stay blessed <laughs>